Welcome back once again, all of my low carb friends. And for those of you who are here for the first time, welcome. Today we have another video by request. A few videos back, Elizabeth L. French commented on coffee ice cream. And so today I am going to show you how to make two minute keto coffee ice cream in your blender and two minute keto caramel topping and two minute keto hot fudge topping. And if you want printable versions of these, you can check out my website at janetsdeliciouslowcarbkitchen.com. You can find printable versions of these and other goodies there for you. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see lots of easy, delicious keto recipes, make sure you click that subscribe button and click the, no the notification bell right next to the subscribe button. That way you could be notified every time I put out new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. And if you'd like to help support the channel, make sure you scroll down in the description of the video. You'll see some affiliate links. Anytime you purchase anything using those affiliate links, a small portion of your purchase will go to me and help support the channel. So while you do all that, let's get cooking. Pour a 10 ounce can of full fat coconut milk into 16 ice cube molds. If you have any extra coconut milk after you fill the 16 ice cube molds, just put the rest of the coconut milk in your refrigerator and use it for later. Place the ice cube molds in the freezer and freeze them for at least two to five hours or until they are frozen solid. I usually freeze them overnight, but they can be frozen solid by about two, three hours. Just depends on how cold your freezer is. Just make sure they are frozen solid. Once the coconut milk ice cubes are frozen solid, place 16 of the ice cubes in a large blender. Make sure your blender is high powered enough to chop ice. Add two thirds cup of coconut cream, or if you want to, you can use heavy whipping cream. Add one fourth cup of powdered monk fruit allulose blend or powdered sweetener of your choice. I will say if you use another sweetener other than the monk fruit allulose blend, especially if it's an erythritol based sweetener and you freeze your ice cream overnight, your ice cream will most likely freeze solid which won't affect the taste of your ice cream, but you will have to take it out 15 to 20 minutes before you want to eat it. Add one tablespoon of finely ground coffee granules. You can use fresh or you can use instant. Just make sure they are very finely ground. You can also use more or less according to how much of a coffee flavor you want in your ice cream. Add one tablespoon of alcohol-based vanilla extract. You do want an alcohol-based extract because the alcohol slows the freezing temperature down of your ice cream and helps it to where if you freeze it overnight, it does not freeze solid. Sprinkle in one and a half teaspoons of xanthan gum. Make sure you sprinkle this in. Don't just dump it in one area. It blends much better when you sprinkle it in. Pulse on high for about five to 10 seconds at a time or until the coconut milk ice cubes begin to chop up. Once the coconut milk ice cubes have been chopped, then blend on high for about one minute or until the ice cream is smooth and the texture of soft serve ice cream. Once it's all blended and it's nice and smooth, you can eat this immediately if you want to, just how it is. Personally, I like a firmer texture. So if you're like me and you want a firmer texture, scoop the ice cream into a freezer safe container or a loaf pan, cover it with the lid or some plastic wrap and freeze it for at least one hour or until it's your desired consistency. Once it's frozen to your desired consistency, scoop out your desired amount. You can put some toppings on it if you want to or just eat it as it is. For the two minute caramel ice cream topping, in a deep microwave safe measuring cup or a deep bowl, add two tablespoons of coconut oil or butter, one fourth cup of coconut cream or full fat coconut milk, and a half cup of brown monk fruit allulose blend or brown sugar sweetener of your choice. The brown monk fruit allulose blend will give you the smoothest texture and the taste that is the closest to brown sugar. Use a fork and stir these all together until they're fully combined and the brown sugar sweetener is smooth. Now whatever measuring cup or bowl that you are putting your ingredients in, make sure it is deep enough because this does bubble up as it cooks. So you want to make sure that you don't have a bubbled over mess in your microwave. So make sure that your measuring cup or your bowl is deep. 
Once your ingredients are combined, place it in the microwave, microwave on high for about 30 seconds. Then remove it from the microwave, use your fork and stir completely. Microwave on high in 30 second intervals until the brown sugar sweetener is fully dissolved and you have a dark golden syrup. It's not going to be completely thick yet, but you should have a nice golden color and it should start to be smelling a little bit of that caramel smell. Mine took a total of two minutes altogether. Everybody's microwave is different. So you're looking for that golden color and that smell of caramel. Make sure you stir after every 30 seconds because this can burn. So do not put it in for more than 30 seconds at a time. Once it's golden, remove it from the microwave and immediately add 1 4th teaspoon of vanilla extract and 1 4th teaspoon of salt. You can use more or less of the vanilla extract and the salt according to your taste. Use your fork and stir it all together until it's fully combined. Once it's combined, sprinkle in a fourth teaspoon of xanthan gum. Make sure you sprinkle it in, don't just add it in one area. Then again, use your fork and stir for at least 20 to 30 seconds. You want that xanthan gum to fully dissolve so you don't have any chunks in your topping. Once everything is fully combined and you have a smooth syrup, allow it to cool a little bit. It will thicken as it cools. You can use it when it's slightly warm or you can allow it to cool completely. This makes about a half cup, so you'll probably, depending on how many people are eating the ice cream, you probably won't have too much leftovers. If you do have leftovers, allow it to cool completely, put it in an airtight container, and store it in your refrigerator for up to two weeks. Now, if you do store it in the refrigerator and you have not used the monk fruit allulose blend, then your topping may crystallize a little bit. If it does, it's okay. Just use a fork and stir it really well and then pop it back in the microwave for just a few seconds until it is smooth again. And if you do store it in your refrigerator, whenever you're ready to use it again, just pop it back in the microwave for a few seconds until it is liquid. For the 30 second chocolate ice cream topping, in a microwave safe measuring cup or bowl, in a microwave safe large measuring cup or small bowl, place one tablespoon of coconut oil or butter and three tablespoons of keto chocolate chips. Microwave on high for about 15 seconds or until the coconut oil and the chips are starting to melt. Use a fork and stir completely until the coconut oil or the butter, whichever one you're using, is melted completely. Add one tablespoon of coconut cream or full fat coconut milk. Microwave on high for another 15 seconds. And remove it from the microwave and use a fork and stir everything together until everything is fully combined and you have a smooth topping. Now this is designed to eat immediately. It only serves two persons. If for some reason you do have leftovers, you can put it in a small container and refrigerate it for up to two weeks. If you do refrigerate it, it will harden, but all you would need to do is put a little bit more coconut oil in it and pop it in the microwave whenever you're ready to use it until it's melted. Also, when you do use this and you put this on your ice cream, it will most likely harden a little bit, kind of like a chocolate shell a little bit. So if you want to avoid that, you can add a little bit more coconut milk and a little bit more of the coconut oil. But don't use too much because you don't want it to be super thin. You, you want to have some texture to your topping. I am putting the caramel topping and the chocolate topping on my coffee ice cream. And mm -mm, it was good. Eat and enjoy. And those are our recipes of the day. I hope you enjoyed them. If you did and you want to see more videos like this, make sure you click that thumbs up, like button, click that subscribe button, leave me a comment if you want to. Let me know if there's any recipes that you'd like to learn how to make and I'll do what I can to get those out there for you. And as always, keep cooking.